Many bowling alleys in Dane County reopened this week under the Phase 1 plan. As Carly Murata tells us, the biggest change bowling alleys are adjusting to is the lack of business. The last two weeks of the school year are normally one of the busiest times for 10 pin alley, but the coronavirus pandemic has changed that. Although this bowling alley is open as of Tuesday, the people are still not here. We've had 15 customers on the lanes since Tuesday. Usually we have all 32 lanes going with some type of school group. Of course, that all disappeared. Leaving pounders anxious for what the future holds. It's going to be very dreadful coming up even in the fall because I don't know what fall leagues are even going to be at this time either. And usually in the fall, we'll have all 32 lanes going every night. It's, it is scary. That's our livelihood. And if our livelihood isn't happening, I might as well just put the keys down, lock the doors and walk out. But he's desperately hoping that isn't the case and has taken many safety precautions to make this pastime feel safe for customers. Basically what we do is hand them a wipe so they can wipe their balls off and the finger holes when they come in there and use them. When they're done bowling, they leave the balls on the lanes. They bring the shoes back up to the counter. We spray the inside and outside of the shoes. Um, we come down, we'll wipe down the bowling balls and the finger holes, put them away. We'll wipe down the table, the touch screen, the chairs in the area that they've been in. They are also home to sand volleyball and they're waiting for phase two of the Dane County reopening plan where health officials will determine if team sports are safe to play. In Fitchburg, I'm Carly Murata, 27 News.